Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1999. WWF holds their UK-only Rebellion pay-per-view at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham, England. The main event sees World Heavyweight Champion Triple H defeat The Rock in a steel cage match. Number 4, 1933. Waldo Von Erich is born. He was a Canadian professional wrestler playing the character of a villainous Prussian Nazi. He was billed as the brother of Fritz Von Erich making him a kayfabe member of the Von Erich family. Number 3, 1999. Psychosis begins his second WCW Cruiserweight title reign in bizarre fashion. Because WCW, feeling pressure from Turner management over controversy and media attention brought forth by Lenny Lane's ambiguous gay character, the decision was made to pull Lane from television immediately. Since Lane was cruiserweight champion at the time, the decision was made to create a phantom title change and put the belt on Psychosis. Number 2, 1993. The Tasmaniac defeats Tommy Dreamer in Dreamer's official ECW debut, although he wrestled the night before under a mask. This match officially begins the run of a character and performer who would become known as the heart and soul of the promotion. Number 1. 1966. One of the greatest big men of all time is born in Yokozuna. A two-time world heavyweight champion and a one-time Royal Rumble winner. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.